Hello everyone, so today we're going to be discussing my ambulatory EUG experience in December 2018. I haven't done a video yet, it's been so long, so I do have some pictures, so I thought I'd show you guys and give you a bit of information. Uh, the test was so easy, nothing to worry about at all, the only bothering part with it is the glue in your hair that you get left with. Uh, if you haven't been on my channel before, my name's Brogan, I do these videos to help educate others and raise awareness. An EEG test is a recording of brain activity, so during the test it picks up electrical signals produced when brain cells send messages to each other, so these signals are recorded by a machine and are looked up by a doctor later to see if they're unusual. So what I had done was an ambulatory EEG, uh, so this is where the brain activity is recorded throughout the day and night over one or more days. Uh, so I had this done for two days, I think it was. Uh, the electrodes will be attached to a small portable EEG recorder that can be clipped to your clothing, uh, which you can see here. So um, mine sort of looked like a little bag and it has all the machinery stuff inside of it. Um, and it's sort of, it's got like a strap over it. So it's just like a handbag and then the wires uh, from your head just sort of tuck in there. Um, yeah, I found it really easy to wear, especially like I worried about it at night, but it's really easy to wear. You can take the um, clip off so you can just put it on your side of your bed. But it was it was fine, it was comfortable. Um, as you can see on the left side of the bag, uh, tucked in, there's a red button. Uh, when you think you've had a seizure, this is especially good with my absence seizures, once you think you have one, you press that and it sort of triggers a, um, I guess, a bump in the recording. Um, and then it helps your doctor to see when you've had a seizure. So instead of them like struggling to look through, I guess it makes it easier for them to find them. And this seemed to work with me because I was getting something out of the fridge and I had an absence, so I quickly pressed it. And then when I went back, they said, oh yeah, when you pressed it, it did happen. They seen it on the chart, so it's pretty good in that way as well. So to prepare for your EEG, uh, obviously you've got your sensors that are going to be stuck to your scalp, uh, so you should make sure your hair is clean and dry before arriving for your appointment. Um, also avoid using like hair gel, wax hairspray, things like that. Uh, you also want to probably bring a hairbrush, your hair will probably get a bit messy when the test is finished. I think my appointment lasted between half an hour to an hour. Um, so this is just for some preparation time and then some time at the end. So your scalp will be cleaned and about 20 sensors called electrodes will be attached using a special glue or paste. Um, and then they're connected by wires to an EEG recording machine. Um, as you can see in this picture, uh, this is when I first got it put on. <laughs> Looking groovy I know. And in the background you can see the computer screen and this is what it's scanning. So those are my brain waves on there. Uh, so when I have a seizure, it must like change in pattern. Obviously I'm not a doctor, I don't know. So that's the data that uh, they get from our recordings. So if you need to go out when you've got your EEG done, um, I used a hat and I also had a wig, uh, which was red and really long and nice. Uh, so I wore that over it as well because um, I went out for a meal to Frankie and Benny's uh, with my sister and nobody had a clue that it wasn't my hair. Even my friends who came and seen me didn't know it wasn't my hair, even though they've seen me with shorter hair for years. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it made me feel really confident. So I recommend doing that. If not, just wear a hat. So I know I wore mine um, outside, just my hat, because it was freezing cold on the bus back. From the hospital uh, so yeah you can still go glamorous with it so I'm sure you can pull it off too make sure if you do use a wig or a hat just make sure you check with your nurse before the, before you do that just in case it might affect your results it didn't affect mine but just double check that so the funnest bit of it is getting it off obviously um, but then you have to get that horrible glue out your hair and those who have experienced EEGs before know that it's a bit crazy to get out your hair but I found the best thing to do is to get a conditioner and feed it all through your hair and leave it for about an hour 
um, get out the shower obviously and then get a comb and just start combing from your scalp to your ends and I find the clumps of glue just came out and came out so that's the way I do it but there's there's loads of people online who've got different ways so just take a look up at that don't try to just yank it out and pick it <laughs> So that's all from me today. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked the video and what your experiences are with EEGs. It would be really interesting to read. Uh, please subscribe to me. I've got lots of videos coming up. I've also got an Instagram page which is epilepsy story underscore brogan. Uh, so just check that out. That's got some uh, just little things about my life and some new videos coming up and things like that. So if you're interested in that then head over to there. Thank you very much for watching.